Now, for our next example, we are looking at this. We want to draw this tangent problem. But well, we have one radius here, right? That has a circle. This one circle, right? Another radius that have another circle. So that means we have two circles that are what 50 millimeter apart. So let's draw that. So first of all, you draw a line of 50. So the length of the line is um, 50. So I measure my 50. I'll mark a point. Point A. This is A. So I measure 50 from 1. Two six two fifty. That is B. Right, that's the first step. This is B, and this is A. So the next um, thing we'll do is by the radius of this circle on B is twelve, while the radius of the circle on A is twenty five. So first radius is twenty five. Second radius is 12, so let's start with 25. So the next one is 25 for A. So if I measure my 25 from 0 to this point here, it's 25. Right? So I'm going to place it here. So I will draw this arc. Faint line first. That is 25. Is what 25. All good. Now, the second one is 12, so I'm going to measure 12 from 0 to what to 12 here. So I measure it here with my faint line. I'll draw my twelve. Can you see that? So the next thing I'll do here is um complete it to be my center line because the circle is symmetrical in nature. So I place it here, I'll complete this one long one short. Long, short, long, short, long. And here also. Long, short. Is that again? So we've done that. But the only thing I want you to understand here is that at this point here, I want to use a lemma language to explain this now. You see, there is a hole here. And when you see a hole, it is meant to fill a hole, right? So what will I do? I want to fill this hole. So the depth of the hole here is what? 20. So I call it as a radius, right? So I'm going to add it with what? With the radius of this circle here. Because this circle are connected together. So it will be, that means you are going to add the radius. When you see that there's an arc, a depth here. So arrow 12, arrow 40 plus arrow 25. So we have... R40 plus what? R25. And that give us R65. So I'll take my compass and I'll measure 65. And my compass from 0 straight down to 65. To be careful because it's 65 here, right? So, and I'll place it at this point here, 
Now strike an arc. So if I strike an arc like this, see what I want to do? I'll strike an arc here. Let me show you. I'm going to strike an arc from this point. Strike an arc at this point. This is my arc here. All good. Now the next one is 12. So still the same thing. You are going to add your 12 with your 42. So 12. Arrow 12 plus arrow 40. And that will give me arrow 52. So I'm going to come measure 52 on my meter rule. So if I come here and I place it here, it's 0 to 52. Here. So I'll place it at this point and I'm going to strike an arc. This is where they meet. So they are meeting at this point here. So from that point, I'll take my compass and I'll measure from here and I'll place it on the circumference of the circle here. Hmm? I'm going to measure. If I measure, I'll be having. So when you get it to that point, you're sure it's touching through here. You draw. You must cut through. Hmm? Right? You must what? Cut through. So after that, that's the first stage. The second stage is this. Is this guy? Look at this man here. This other circle here. You can see it has a pot belly. Right? So what you want to do, you want to reduce the pot belly. So when you add, when you subtract the radius of the pot belly, it is the bigger radius minus this radius, minus this radius here, and the radius of the pot belly minus this radius too. So in the long run, so we're having arrow 80 minus arrow 25 because this in pots when you have things like a pot belly here. You are going to what? Try to reduce the what? The radius to so, subtraction. Why for arrow 12 also also subtraction? So let's start. So arrow 12, arrow 80 minus arrow 25. So we have um, arrow 80 minus arrow 25 and arrow 80 minus arrow 12. So it's to be subtraction. So 80 minus this will give you 55. Then 12 minus 80 will give you, um, we have 62. This is the 2, 12 minus 80. So let's see, 80 minus 12. 80 minus 12. So we have uh, 80 minus 12. 68 so we have 68 here so what you have to do now you take your compass and you measure the other guy 55 on this so I have my 55 so 65 here 0 to 55 five. right it's 55 here and I'll come to so the circle that has a of 5, five, five. and I'm going to strike an arc around this point here. Can you see? So now I'll go to the next one, 68 also. I'm going to place it on 68. This is at this point here. Hmm? So we have this. 
and I'll place it at B. I also strike on that point too. So in doing that, where's the point? Let me show you. On this point. I place it at B. I'll cut on that line here. Can you see that? So I'm cutting at this point here. That's the next point I'm going to use. So where these two intersect will be a point you use to cut to draw your arc. So I'll place it like this to ensure that it is what tangent. You gauge it. So when I do that, I'll be doing that until. So I'll just place it here. And I'll draw this. So if I do that, I will complete the circle. We'll be having that. This is what we'll be having here. Right? So we can just use our compass, our ruler, and just I'll have this, which is 25. Radius 25. This is radius 12. Radius 12. Then distance between both of them is um, 60. You can place it here. Distance between these two points here and here is 60. So, from this point. Then, um, the edges of the two edges here, this is edges 80, the edges here, this is edges 80, and edges 40, then the other one here, okay, then edges 40. So this is it. This is what we are having. So thank you very much.